Back in early 2015, I fell in love with the chateau I found online. I then had to convince my other half to give up our London life and move to rural France. To my surprise, she said yes, and a year later said yes again at our wedding at the chateau we now called our home. It's just us two and our husky lightning. And now, of course, a few animals who seem to have joined us along the way. It's such a beautiful place to live, so we decided to share it with everyone. It's obviously a lot of hard work for just us two. It's not always a fairy tale, and we don't always get it right. But it's all fantastic fun along the way, as we bring this chateau back to life for others to enjoy as much as we do. Follow us, Angelina and Phil, along with the highs and lows of our Chateau life. Hi, everybody. Hey, guys. Uh, just, uh, it's just this week, um, I'm getting on with some stuff and I just wanted to say a big thank you to all the guys uh, that have bought us a coffee and of course of our patrons and of course all you guys for watching as our event being cancelled has taken a real blow on us, especially the motivation and to feel a little bit of love coming back was, uh, was really nice and really helped. So we just wanted to say thank you to everyone before the video starts yeah. and again, thanks for making us feel, uh, feel loved. Huge, thank you. Anyway, enjoy the video. I'm having a week where it's rather difficult to get motivated for anything. And you're gonna tell, sorry. We've basically been told it is highly unlikely to almost impossible to hold our events, although it's not 100% confirmed. So the motivation to do anything has slipped away from me quite badly. And we're having a week where everything breaks again. So uh, uh, I'm not really sure what to do sometimes, but I've got to get on with it anyway. Um, this is broken. I managed to burst a brake pipe on the rear of this on the drive home, which was uh, a scary, uh, a scary experience, but uh, everyone's safe. But it does mean I now have no tow vehicle until the parts arrive for this. Are you guys coming for moral support or? No food. Okay, fine. Thanks for that. So we have no tow vehicle, so I can't pick up any of the equipment and parts I need. And um, I need to also try to get on with the horse box bar. Some of you might remember this. And me picking it up back in episode one of our vlog. I've returned from the UK with my latest project I'm very excited about. Horse box to turn into a bar for the events. Now I've just got to try to convince Angelina to be as excited about it as I am, because it's quite rough around the edges. What's this? Oh, it's, it's a bit rough, isn't it? And hey, look, there's holes. There's like skylights. So oh, lovely, lovely feature. <laughs> oh my god, look at the different colours. It's just really heavy smoking. And there are, there are holes. And... Are you supposed to be able to see the sky through your roof? Is that like the nice new feature? It's like, it's a convertible horse box trailer. I like it. I quickly painted the horse box to use it as a bar at one of our events, but now it's time to actually do it properly. So now it's time to actually try and get this done properly. And as you can see, that's quite a lot of work. The, uh, floor as you can see is soft and rotten and various holes from the years where things have been attached in the sides obviously a missing window but mostly holes in the roof so I think the first order of the day is to get it watertight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut a piece of this perspex down to put in this hole here. Nice and simple. 
Um, are you here to help? Or are you here to hinder? That's right. Unless you're helping, clear the workspace. Piece cut. What are you thinking, Jay? Sorry, right, JW, you're my helper, you can tell me. Yeah, brilliant. Okay, time to get that in. We've got my piece cut, so all I'm going to do is uh, literally going to silicon seal it in place because this is having a wooden frame around it on the inside and then uh, I'll deal with the ceiling from the outside. So let's get that done. We have a window. Now it's the side of that lot up. Obviously from this side, which will be all hidden, it looks a little bit rough, but from the outside, we now have a window. Now we have a small gap in here between the plexiglass and the frame. And that's deliberate because outside here has got to be sanded off, ready for paint properly. And then after that, we can put a rubber seal in and uh, seal it properly. But one more step. All right, gonna mix up some fiberglass, which will fill all the holes. Whack in the hard nut. Yeah, about that. You are supposed to measure it right there, brother. Which is the story of my life. It's like a glass fibre paste. It'll go solid, but we can, at the moment, we'll be able to squeeze it into all the little holes in the side. And then hopefully they'll stay there. I can sand them down, paint over, and we'll never know those more holes in the horse box than a colander. So this is what it looks like. Let's see if I can manage this while holding the camera so you can see. it all right progress reports halfway through lots of holes all gobbed up with fiberglass lots to do and then eventually I'll think about that
what I'm doing is I'm just literally gobbing it straight into the hole so it's a mess inside, but it doesn't matter because that's going to be covered up and spreading it so it's got big fixing behind to grip onto. And there are some that will need a second round. But it's easier than trying to get the welder out and weld up all these holes because my welding is atrocious. Alright, mix up some more of this. This is what it's looking quite like from the outside. And then these are some that have been rubbed down. And then a few that are drying. You'll never know. It used to be a sieve. So this is looking good. We're just letting that go hard properly. And then we can do another layer where required and then get rid of the last of the holes. And now going to tackle this. This used to be a hatch for ventilation, but that will let water in. So we're going to get rid of it because whenever it's used as a bar, then uh, we've always got the hatch open. So this needs to go. Right, as this is going, I need to grind all the uh, rivets and stuff off. So, uh, a bit of safety gear. Right. Right. You can see, we couldn't, this has just been fiberglassed and repaired countless times and there's no point in trying to repair something we don't actually need. The easiest thing to do is get rid, clean up all around here, get rid of any rust, seal it up and then put a uh, metal plate on it. So, next course of action. That might be my hair on fire. No, no flames, I'm good. So what I've done, we've gone to three layers here now of fiberglass. 
and just filling up the holes and making it all strong. It's getting quite late, so I can't use the grinder anymore because it's a bit too late for the noise. And I want this to set rock hard. So uh, I'll come to this in the morning and then hopefully I can get a window in. But uh, in the meantime, it's time some food. So this can wait. All righty then. Paint's dry. So we've got no exposed metal. And in here, you can see the frame is now, that's all been fiberglass, is all uh, looking good. It's the right sort of shape and the exposed metal's painted. So it's time to get the window in. And then I can say this is, uh, at least we've done some job. Right, all of the uh, windows should be sealed in now because the uh, glue's dried, but the weather's taken a turn, so I'm not sure how much more I'm gonna be able to get on with, but let's take a look at the windows. Right. And there's the second one. So I have to cut away from that and clean up everything inside. But the next big task is to sort out this. And I've got a cut out metal sheet and put new in. That's gonna to have to wait for a nice sunny day, I think. I just thought I'd show you from up here why I'm not rushing to do this. There is obviously the hole right here, but actually rotted through underneath the rail as you can see where it actually connects the problem is this is one pressed piece so what i'm thinking of doing and i'm asking you guys for anyone knows better than i do the other problem of course it comes up to the slight ridge here so water comes to this and then runs down I'm thinking of cutting out this square, this bigger square here, and then uh, putting it under here and drilling new holes along this to bolt it up and seal it. And then just having a, a lip here, which is then riveted and sealed. Um, open to suggestions, guys, but that is why I'm not rushing to uh to do this today it needs slight more thought i think i hadn't been up here in a little while and seen just how bad it is but uh do you know what it's worth it in the end so i can't really get on with much more the rain's in and out now and hey the ground needs it which is uh i'm not going to complain about the rain the grass is brown you know we've got uh um hose pipe bands and stuff so i'm uh never complain uh, when you were getting a bit of rain that we desperately need. I am obviously struggling for motivation at the moment, trying to do a task which was for a great event, which I really enjoy, that we're now no longer allowed to hold, is uh, it's difficult to find the motivation, I think, which is a little bit, that's just human nature. But everyone's in the same boat. Uh, it's just difficult to know that you're not going to earn any money out of the whole place for the, a whole year. But again, you know, it could be worse. So... Um, We'll just get on, we'll survive and uh, carry on. In the meantime, I'm going to slowly crack on this. I'm sorry I couldn't get more of this done, but it's not going to be the fastest project. It's uh, to make it as good as I want it to be. Right, we've got a bit of sunshine uh, in between thunderstorms at the moment. So what we're going to do is I've got friends visiting, is I'm going to take a break from all this and get out of the chateau. So we're going to go off onto the Velo Rail, which is about 20 minutes away from here. The Velo Rail is an old train line where they put sort of uh, pedal carts on it so you can go up and down uh, cycling on a, how would you say cycling? Yeah, cycling. Yeah, so sort of basically pedaling away on these little train carts um, up and down this little old thing, uh, old train line. So um, that should be a bit of fun. Um, get out of the house and re-get a little bit of motivation. So uh, off we go. What are we doing, hon? We're Vela railing, we're cycling on these old uh, train tracks that are no longer active by trains, so it's really, really fun. Oh, we've got a, we've got a level crossing. Okay. I think we have to see. Yeah, uh, yeah, right, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it, right.
driving a car. Without any steering? You know what there's enough dwelling on what's going on at the moment so i'm going to put a little video in now of what this place looked like in the spring last year Thanks for watching guys. So the horse box, it's going to take a little while because I'm doing it properly. I have done it before really, really quickly to tidy up just to use for an event, but ultimately it was a, a horse box shell with uh, beer in it. So uh, it's time to make it uh, done right, but obviously it's quite a long job as you can see, and some of it I am thinking about. As I said in the video guys, um, any of you out there that would have a better suggestion than I have regarding the roof, please do let me know before I start tackling it. So uh, if you've got some great ideas, do, uh, do say in the comments. And if you like our channel and enjoy all the content that we put into it, why not buy us a coffee? The link is in the description. And of course, thank you to our patrons. Uh, you really help this channel and uh, the channel's growth. So if you are interested in becoming a patron, Again, there is a link in the description below and I can go to our Patreon page where there are behind the scenes content, patron only videos and special offers. And if you're new to our channel and enjoyed this episode, why not subscribe? And once you do that, you'll get the option for the bell button so you receive all the latest notifications as soon as the new videos are up. Yep, so don't forget, share away, let's help this channel grow and thank you so much for watching and your support guys. See Thank you next you. time. Bye.